If you want to know which is better between the Infinix Note 12 and the Samsung Galaxy A23, this video is all you need. Now the cheapest version of the Note 12 here costs 131,500 Naira, which is roughly $195 for 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. While the same memory configuration for the Samsung Galaxy A23 costs $135,900, roughly $200. So these are similarly priced devices and which of them should you spend your money on? You're going to find out in this video and so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. Now as far as unboxing and the items that come within the boxes of these smartphones, you should expect pretty much the same experience. Except for the Infinix Note 12 here which comes with a 33 watt fast charger, while you get a 15 watt charger from within the box of the A23. Now you can still get the fast charging support up to 25 watts on the Samsung A23 here but you need to buy that more powerful charger if you want to get that for yourself. Another difference in the unboxing experience here would be the case the Infinix comes in. You don't get a TPU case for the A23. Both smartphones come with the bells and whistles you'd find in this category of mid-range smartphones. Both are made out of plastic, you have dual SIM trays with dedicated memory expansion slots, USB-C on both of them and dual speakers from these devices. What immediately does stand out in terms of the design would be the mirror-like finish you get from the Infinix Note 12's rear. While the Galaxy has a gloss rear, they are about the same size but the Galaxy weighs slightly less than the Infinix Note 12. Both smartphones retain side-mounted fingerprint scanners which we've come to find reliable and fast. Now speaking of displays, there are two things to consider on these devices. When it comes to the colors, the Infinix Note 12 here is the winner as it gives you these vibrant looking colors and it also has this AMOLED display with a thousand nits of brightness and a HD plus resolution. While the Galaxy A23 gives you a smoother experience with gaming and scrolling through the phone, thanks to the 90Hz refresh rate of course, and that drains the battery life here because this is an LCD panel. So the better colors and the better display battery consumption comes from the Infinix Note 12 while the better animation and more display battery consumption comes from the Galaxy A23 and that seems like a win to the Infinix Note 12. Did I mention both have about the same screen size, a 6.7 inch display on the Infinix and a 6.6 inch display on the A23. Now over to the speakers, both devices give you a dual audio configuration. You get about the same level of loudness in terms of the decibels but then at the top volume I tend to get the clearer less distorted sound from the Galaxy A23. The most notable thing about the Galaxy A23 is the processor on here as it adorns the Snapdragon 680 chipset with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. You have Samsung's One UI on here and Android 12 on this device. Now the RAM is also capable of virtual expansion. So generally, the A23 has a very good performance and offers this enjoyable and seamless gaming experience for the price range. Now, Infinix's Note 12 is powered by the Helio G88 CPU, which is similar to the Snapdragon 680 found on this device. And also like the Galaxy A23, it features the base memory configuration of 4 gigs and can be expanded to 6 gigs using the virtual RAM expansion capability and with up to 128 gigs of storage. So the processor on the Galaxy A23 is the better one here as far as my tests show and also from the Geekbench scores displayed on screen. And now that brings me to the OS and software updates. First off, Android 12 on the Samsung Galaxy A23 and Android 11 on the Infinix Note 12. Now Samsung promises you up to 3 years of software updates, so you're going to see Android 13 on this smartphone, while the Note 12 is likely going to be stuck with Android 11. Not only are you getting updates into the future with the Galaxy A23, the Android skin on this device which is One UI is more appealing than the bloatware infested XOS skin you get from the Infinix device here. So the Galaxy A23 wins in this category but it isn't as clear a win when it comes to the cameras but before that here's a word from today's sponsor. So OctaFX which is a trusted forex trading platform is organizing a training workshop with Ambrose Ebuka who is a seasoned forex trader and an OctaFX ambassador with more than 3 years trading experience under his belt and he's going to teach you how to make money from forex just like the pros do. With this OctaFX training workshop You'd get to learn how to set up your own trading strategy that makes you money. You'd learn the trading lingua, you'd get trading guides and also live trading examples in this 4-day training workshop which earns you a certificate. Now make sure to use the promo code shown to sign up so as to be eligible for this draw. Learn with Ambrose and OctaFX and use my promo code OSCAR100 for more profitable trading. On the cameras with the A23, you get a 50 megapixel main lens, a 5 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor also a 2 megapixel macro sensor, while the front side here gives you an 8 megapixel wide sensor. On the other hand, the Infinix Note 12 gives you a 50 megapixel main lens, accompanied by a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a QVGA lens. 
but to the front side you have a 60 megapixel front facing camera and that's it. Now quality wise, starting with the photos from the rear, the Infinix Note 12 takes the lead. Now whenever the Galaxy A23 gives a nice photo, it kinda does it better than the Infinix Note 12, but more often than not, the Infinix Note 12 is the device taking the better shots. Now the lead isn't by far because these photos have about the same level of detail. It's just that Samsung has this thing to it, you have this less saturation and also the white balance on the Samsung seems to be a little off most of the time. Now I wish that could be the same for the front facing cameras but now you would clearly see the difference between these two photos when you switch over to the front cameras. The Infinix Note 12 takes the lead here. Not only does it give you better details here, you tend to get better colouring and something that's truer to life. While the photos from the front facing camera on the Samsung device here are a little washed out when compared to the Note 12. While videos can be recorded at up to 2K in resolution on the Infinix Note 12, the Galaxy A23 gives you an HD resolution video which has a sort of cast to it. I still prefer the processing from the Note 12 here also. So generally in terms of the cameras, the Infinix Note 12 is more like the camera I'm going to pick most of the time because this camera is actually more reliable, gives you better selfies and in terms of the videos, is the better device to rely on. Now let's talk about the batteries on here. You get a 5000mAh battery on both of the smartphones and the only difference here is in the charging capability. Now for the Galaxy A23, you have up to 25W fast charging support while a 33W fast charging support is what you get from the Note 12. So the charging speed difference is about an hour between these two devices. But then the better battery life as far as the usage on these smartphones goes to the Infinix Note 12. So guys, both devices have their wins and the moments when it all boils down to personal preference. But objectively speaking, I'd go with the Samsung Galaxy A23 anytime. Reason being, the better OS, the better performance and software updates into the future. These things matter more to me than a better battery life or better display. So here's my video for the Samsung Galaxy A23 if you want to check that out. Kawira day.